Hi everybody and welcome to another video of Vintage TV and Radio Stuff and today I'm going to tell you about something I found at a, uh, a local thrift store in town uh, that is huge. It's, it's an old school that a, a church has transformed into a, a thrift store and they have tons and tons of stuff including electronics and usually when I go there I don't, don't usually find anything worth purchasing but uh, I happened to be there about three weeks ago and I saw this and it was five dollars and I can prove it because here's the sticker five bucks it's a Radio Shack Portavision color TV it's the model 16-125A and uh, this was made back in the 90s 1995 to be precise I think I, I'll double check as we go along here but this would be like perfect for uh, going camping or what have you uh, maybe uh, for a room uh, for a kid. Uh, this not only is a television, but it's also a monitor. And we'll be uh, showing you a little bit about uh, both of those things as we go along. But as you can see on the front, we've got the uh, screen itself. You've got the uh, basic UHF and VHF channels. There's a volume and on-off switch all in one there. Uh, you have the uh, choosing of the VHF uh, low and high bands and then the UHF band uh, something called channel call you push that button and apparently it will scan and look for channels in your area and then once you do that then you can tune up and down so there's no real tuner it, it'll, it'll tune itself based on what it detects uh, in the area which is kind of cool here on the side of the TV you've got uh, a speaker you've got the tint color contrast and brightness and the earphone jack and on the back, you've got the nameplate, the, the model number, all that kind of stuff. Uh, there's uh, audio and video inputs for the monitor, which are already plugged in for future display purposes. Uh, and external antenna plug. And then there's the uh, switch between the TV and the monitor. And then there's the DC power supply plug, which is what I'm using right now. This also runs on batteries as well. And it's funny because uh, on the bottom here, there is no... No battery pack, but apparently it did come with a battery pack, and I think it used uh, like six or nine C cell batteries, something to that effect. Uh, also on the bottom, I don't know if you can see that or not. Maybe I'll zoom in a little bit if I can do that. Oh, well, that's as far as it gets. Okay. The uh, date of the manufacturing uh, December of 1995. Alrighty, I've got the uh, it on the TV right now, and it's it's scanning for channels. And I've got the uh, digital to analog converter box, and I'm going to touch the terminal here to the antenna, push channel call, and see what happens. And look at that, we got a very scratchy QVC. So, in its own rudimentary way, we're getting something here on the uh, TV end of things. Still a little confused about how this all works, but apparently when you push that channel call, it finds the channels for you. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the TV end of it. Okay, now we have it on the monitor setting, and, and I have it plugged into a DVD player. And I'm going to put the DVD in, and uh, we'll find out what that looks like and sounds like. As I mentioned, there's lots of stuff on the side of the TV as far as the color and the brightness and everything, and I'm going to play around with that a little bit. This is a tint, obviously. That looks like it's either sharpness or a contrast, actually. There's your color. Ooh, that looks a little <laughs> overly saturated. And uh, there's also uh, the brightness. So, you know, all in all, not too bad. Uh, not a bad little picture. 
maybe not viewable with this light on, but I'll turn this light off. And now we're we're seeing a little bit better picture here. Okay, I'm going to just turn that off because I'm sure YouTube will probably not like that if I keep that on for very long. In any event, uh, there you have it. It is a fully functioning television. The only thing that's missing from this thing is the battery pack, but I can live without that. So uh, there you go. This is the Radio Shack Portavision Color TV 5-inch screen. It's the model 16-125A. Uh, if you research Radio Shack Portavision online, you'll see there's a ton of different televisions that they made. Uh, you know, the black and white color, etc. Uh, all made back in the 90s for Radio Shack. That's our uh, video for today. Thanks for viewing. If you like this, uh, give it a big old like, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, comments, uh, if you have any, leave them below, and we'll have uh, more vintage TV and radio stuff down the road. Thanks for watching.